Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my August favorites and I'm going to get started this month with a couple of books that I have read since I finally found some time to read again. Um, we decided to take the summer off from all of the home decor projects and things that we had going on when we first moved in and um, yeah, we spent a few months just busy every weekend all the time and now we are relaxing enjoying our um, new space and I've had some more time to read so <laughs> um, I've read a couple books this month that I thought I'd share because I found them both really inspirational the first one is from Brene Brown I'm a huge fan of Brene Brown this is her latest book Atlas of the Heart um, and this is a book about mapping meaningful connection and the language of human experience uh, basically it's a book that kind of defines a whole bunch of different human emotions and kind of where they come from, how to articulate kind of what you're feeling when you are kind of in um, the moment of having, I guess, these, you know, emotions and how we can better connect with each other. And I think it came out at such a perfect time because um, we all know, I think the world right now is a little bit divided um, politically and otherwise, and it's hard sometimes to stay true to yourself and have meaningful conversations without, um, you know, attacking and, um, you know, be, being able to express your emotions is basically what this book is all about. And so um, being able to understand them and express them. And so I really found it helpful. I'm learning to have some sort of difficult conversations, um, but letting it be a conversation and not attacking and not, um, you know, imparting my own views without listening. I think empathy is really important, more important right now than ever. And um, so yeah, Atlas of the Heart, definitely a great book, something that inspired me this month. And I always love everything from Brene Brown. The other book I read this month that I really loved and enjoyed was from Emmy Netfield. It's called Acceptance. And um, Emmy is a Harvard graduate who has worked for Google and Facebook. And um, this book really talks about her very difficult, challenging childhood um, and what she had to overcome to get to where she is. And this book is really inspirational. I would say it's really um, relatable for anyone who has had kind of a tough start in life, a rough upbringing, um, anyone who carries with them any kind of past childhood trauma, um, and, you know, trying to keep your eyes on the prize and stay focused on the things that you want to go after in life. I really found it inspirational, and I really um, enjoyed her writing, and I feel like it was good that she wrote this at a time when she is in a better place, but still you know, her memories of what she went through are still very poignant. And I feel like she is able to get across um, a lot of the things that she went through in a way that, uh, like I said, is really engaging. Yeah, it, it's just a really good book. So <laughs> if you're interested, uh, definitely, I would say this is one to check out. Next up, I've got some beauty products, starting with some skincare that was actually sent to me from a company called Versed. Uh, they had reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to try some of their products. Um, no obligation to post or talk about them or anything. Um, and I went ahead and tried them and I'm happy to report that I absolutely love them. So I'm going to show you what they sent me and I'll talk about each one. And by the way, they are a cruelty-free vegan skincare brand that uses no fragrance, no dyes, none of that um, really great products that you can feel good about using. So the first product they sent to me is called the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm and it looks like this. Um, this comes in a big tub and here's the consistency. It's, it's kind of a thick um, balm, I would say comparable to like Clinique's take the day off, I think it's called, cleansing balm. Um, it does have a little bit of a scent. It has some eucalyptus in it, so it definitely has a little bit of a scent. If I could um, use one word to describe Versed, I would say all of their products are just really comforting. Like everything I've used has made my skin feel really comforted. It's been um, behaving really well. I haven't had any bad reactions to anything. Nothing is too super strong, um, but yet, or super potent, I should say, but yet at the same time, it does what it's supposed to do. It's not doing the most, it's not doing the least, but it is um, doing a really good job of just kind of basic skincare. And I have looked them up since they sent me some of these products and the price point is really good. They do sell their products in Target and at Amazon, I believe. Um, and I definitely will be purchasing more from them in the future. 
So the next product that came to me is called the Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. And you can see, or maybe you can't, but hopefully you can see, I'm about halfway through this already. I love this stuff. I think you're supposed to only use this during the day, but in the beginning I was using it day and night. So after I cleanse my face, um, this is a four acid complex with bearberry X extract um, and it's really just great on a cotton ball like using it like a toner but it has those acids in it that are going to help to exfoliate your skin without it being super harsh or anything like that in fact I would say you could use it day and night and you're not going to um, strip your skin or anything but uh, it has no parabens no silicones no sulfates no petroleum no mineral oil and no PEGs so really love this stuff Next up is a product I've been using at night. This is the Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. And um, this is for aging skin, dullness, and problem skin. And I've been using this at night before my moisturizer, and I absolutely love it. It is fragrance-free, and it just does what it is supposed to do. Um, and again, for me, I find uh, retinol is something that I was missing in my skincare routine up until probably last year sometime when I started using retinol products and it has made the biggest difference in my skin in terms of just its glowiness and its general ability to, um, you know, stay smooth and hydrated and looking the best that it can be. The next product they sent over is the Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. And this stuff is amazing. I've been using it day and night, and I've used quite a bit of it, as you can see. Um, I love this stuff because it is not, it's going to be hard to tell the consistency just looking at it on the camera, but it's not super um, heavy, but it's not um, light either. It's somewhere in between. I would say it almost feels like a gel um, cream texture, but then it absorbs really nicely into your skin and leaves you hydrated without being like overly hydrated. I would say it's probably good for all skin types, except maybe oily. If you're super oily, you might want to go with something lighter. But um, for me, someone who normally has normal to dry skin, um, this is kind of perfect and I absolutely love it. There's no fragrance. It just goes on. It just um, absorbs into your skin really nicely, leaves your skin feeling cushiony, soft, and super, like I said, um, comforted and hydrated and just um, feeling really good. So I've really been enjoying this product. Next product I received from Burst is the um, Gentle Retinol Body Lotion. And this stuff is amazing. I have been using this every day when I get out of the shower. Um, it is they say a nourishing body moist moisturizer infused with squalene, cocoa butter, and retinol, the gold standard ingredient for rejuvenating skin. Um, and it's not just for your face. And I definitely have seen an improvement with how my skin looks and feels since using this. So I've been really enjoying this. Um, it has no fragrance, so it's not going to compete with any of your other fragrances that you may apply. And what I really love most about it is that it absorbs into the skin. It doesn't just sit on the skin. None of these products just get on, sit on the skin. They are very, like I said, nourishing, hydrating, um, and they absorb really well. They don't pill. It's just a really great product line. And the last thing they had sent to me uh, was this headband that is just like a Terry headband that you can use when you're washing your face at night. Um, so really, really cute. So thank you so much to the people at Verse for sending me over these products. I am really enjoying them all. And I do have a discount code um, for anyone who's interested in trying Verse. I will leave that down below. And I think the products are great, comforting, hydrating, and I uh, could not be happier with them. And speaking of clean beauty, I have a few new makeup products from Merit that I wanted to share with you that I'm absolutely loving. The first is their newly re-released, um, I think it's called the Minimalist Complexion Stick. I had this um, in two different shades in their previous packaging. Um, they actually increased the size of the product, so it's like 1.7, I believe, times the original amount of product that you get in here, um, which was really great. I think they listened to a lot of feedback that people were very happy with the formula, but they really just wanted more of it so they could use it instead of just spot concealing. People wanted to use it all over like a foundation, which is actually how I use it and I have it on today. Um, and so, yeah, I was really happy to pick up um, the newer size and I have it in the shade. Um, I have two different shades. I have bisque, which I tend to use kind of under my eyes and in the middle of my face, a little um, a trick I learned from Gucci Westman, um, having two shades so that you don't look completely flat. You have some dimension to your face. I'll just swatch a little on my hand so you can see. 
So that is bisque and this is a great shade um, that I love to use just to brighten up a little around my eyes like I said and down the middle of my face and then for kind of all over color I have the shade camel which looks like this it actually is coming up a little lighter than um, the bisque I think just has a little bit more of a peachy undertone whereas this one is a little bit warmer and I just love the ease of application of all of their products you just swipe it on where you need it you can use your fingers you can use their awesome brush which is what I use or you can use a beauty blender or sponge whatever you prefer and uh, really love these products and the other product I picked up from Merit that is a new launch is their bronzing balm i think it's called the bronze balm but um here is what the packaging looks like it just says merit there it's really pretty gold packaging and inside it's almost like a lip a giant lipstick tube but inside is the product here i am in the middle shade sane which um is a really nice not too warm not too cool just perfect bronze shade i kind of have it um, just kind of on my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead right now and it's just a really beautiful easy to use product like all of their products um, easy to apply easy to blend um, and I am in the middle shade which um, they do a great job on their website of kind of telling you you know with, with their different shade ranges of the complexion stick uh, which shade you should pick up for this and I was somewhere right in the middle of the medium and so yeah this one is perfect for me. And the last of my beauty favorites for the month is a fragrance I picked up from Merit Beauty. This is their latest launch, Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. And I absolutely love this. I think the bottle is gorgeous. It's kind of a deep cherry red. The juice smells amazing. Um, to me, it opens very similar to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which a lot of people have been saying. But then the dry down is very different. It is a woodier sort of... Um, a little bit less complex but uh, definitely a woody dry down which is where I think the burning cherry comes from but it is a cherry all the way opener and um, I almost sense a little bit of cinnamon in it like it smells very gourmand um, and it's something that I have already tried pairing up with um, the invite only which I think is beautiful with this which also features a cherry note in it um, and it also pairs really well with their vanilla 28 so all three of them the other day I put on all three <laughs> and I was just so surrounded and enveloped with this beautiful glorious um, deep woody cherry um, awesomeness so yeah really love this and I love that their new packaging um, I think all of their bottles are now going to feature the notes on the back so this one features burning cherry raspberry which I do not pick up praline which gives it a little sweetness um, palo santo which is the really earthy woodiness in this fragrance along with gayak wood and patchouli and the patchouli um, I don't really smell the patchouli but it definitely gives this a little bit more kind of lasting power. Um, I think I applied it when I first got it in the morning to try it out and um, I could still smell it in the evening. So really beautiful fragrance from Kaeli. Next up, I have a few fashion favorites from a brand that I have recently sort of rediscovered. I had discovered this brand, I think sometime a few years ago um, with a few pieces I had ordered from them in silk and was so impressed with the quality that when I recently was on their website and saw that they have um, now a washable silk collection, I ended up purchasing a whole bunch of pieces thinking that I would just keep the ones that I like and return the others um, but I like everything so I thought I'd share it with you. The brand is Quince by the way and they do all kinds of really beautiful natural um, fabrics. They have a lot of great cotton, they have a whole Italian linen collection um, and I did order two pieces of that that I love and now I want more um, and then I their silk, their washable silk collection I think is amazing and the price point is really where it's at. Um, I had recently gotten some organic cotton bedding in my home and really was so in love with that that I ended up picking up a whole bunch of new stuff so I thought I'd share it with you. So starting with the silk pieces that I got. Um, the first thing I got are these two camis and I have not, my apologies, I have not yet um, steamed these so uh, there are some wrinkles just from being packaged and sent over. Um, but the first two pieces are these beautiful camisoles that are 100% washable silk. I have it in the, I think this is ivory and in black. 
um, just pieces that I know I will get a ton of wear out of here in Florida. I also picked up two pieces I had from the brand previously, but I believe the ones I had were their older um, mulberry silk that was not um, washable and they were in a larger size. So everything I have pretty much now is a size medium and it fits me perfectly. Uh, the first thing I have here is this gorgeous silk slip dress. Um, also just something that I know I will get a lot of wear out of here in Florida, really beautiful. And then the other one is this silk slip skirt, also in black. I'm thinking about picking this up in the champagne color because I love it so much and it just fits like a glove. I also picked up um, these kind of silk blouses, sleeveless blouses in black as well as in ivory. You can see a theme here. Um, I really loved I really love silk in both of these colors and these are things that I know I can wear throughout the year. And then the last of my silk pieces from Quince were these short sleeve blouses and I have one again in the ivory and one in black. Um, these also, I think all of these items came in a beautiful kind of olive tone that I'm considering at some point, but for now um, these are just basics that I know I will get a lot of use out of and again just such great quality. Um, I really lo am loving silk right now and all sort of natural fibers and um, yeah, definitely pieces I know I will get a lot of use out of. Next up, I have a couple of pieces from Quince's Italian Linen Collection, which I am super impressed with, and now I want everything in the collection. Um, I have this top. This is a collared um, kind of linen button down in this beautiful white color as well as in black. And I really think these were kind of perfect um, because they were not too long and they were the perfect kind of blouse to just wear really casually with some of my linen pants and um, culottes and things and shorts. And uh, yeah, I really like the quality of the linen. It's um, a heavy duty linen that definitely um, I could see myself wearing throughout the year um, because here in Florida, you can get away with linen any time of year. So definitely a great investment. And I wanna say these were like 30, five-ish dollars, which I think is great. Um, you should definitely check out Quince if you're looking for natural silk, natural linen, or organic cotton because all of their pieces are priced really reasonably. And then the last two pieces I picked up from Quince are this beautiful Turkish cotton kind of basket weave um, robe that is so super soft and comfy and now it's making me want to get they also sell some um, organic cotton towels that have the same sort of design and just look beautiful and it is so super soft and comfortable and washable and just just a great robe for all around. And then when I was purchasing the robe, um, I got a little promotion to get the slippers as well for half off. So I did pick up the little matching slippers, super cute as well. And my last favorite for the month um, has to be vintage handbags. You may have seen if you follow me on Instagram that I have recently purchased quite a few vintage handbags. And I have one I'm gonna talk about today, but I am going to be doing a vintage handbag collection video to kind of show you everything I've purchased and everything that I'm keeping because I do have a few things that I'm on the fence about um, and one that I may be trading for something else. And so a whole bunch more to come on that. But I've really kind of just been obsessed with vintage handbags lately, especially since a lot of luxury companies are relaunching or re-releasing, I should say, um, some of their kind of iconic bags of the past. And I keep seeing them everywhere and I'm just so obsessed with them. Um, so I started looking on the pre-loved market and found such amazing deals on some of the vintage bags that have gone a little bit crazy. So um, like I said, I will be sharing a updated vintage handbag collection soon and showing you what I am keeping and where I am, like what I sold and where I'm at with my vintage handbag collection. But in the meantime, there is one bag that um, I love above all the others that I've already shown on my Instagram account, but I don't think I've featured here. So this is my favorite handbag of the month and it is my Fendi baguette bag. Um, this is just such a beautiful bag that I like to wear just on my shoulder like this. Um, you may all know that I have this um, mama baguette here that I have attached um, this little guitar strap onto, but I've got my mama baguette that I purchased a few years ago. Um, I got a great deal on this in a vintage or actually a thrift store, um, and I 
picked it up and absolutely loved it for the last few years. I've been wearing it a ton, but I do use this bag um, pretty casually just as a shoulder bag. And like I said, I did attach this guitar strap so I can wear it crossbody as well. Um, however, I really wanted this bag when I got that bag <laughs> um, and I just couldn't find the right one for the right price point. And then once I got the mama baguette, I thought, do I really need to have both? Um, and then after watching a video from Karen Britchick where she was showing both of hers and asking people which one she should sell or keep, um, she did kind of some, you know, try-ons with the bag with different outfits. And to me, they really are very different bags. So I wrote to her that she should keep them both. And I took my own advice and I am keeping them both because I love them both for different reasons. I use my mama baguette more like casually going out during the day as a shoulder bag or a crossbody. And I use this one more at night just as a little um, pochette on my shoulder, or you could even just sort of use it as a little clutch. You can undo the um, the strap and use it as a clutch, but really, really cute little bag. It just holds the necessities. Um, right now I have it stuffed with a little bag pillow from Bag of V. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is a really, really cute bag. And um, this one was in such great condition. The only real flaw was a couple of, um, what do you call it? Like little folds on the leather here, wrinkles on the leather here. But aside from that, it was in really, really great pre-loved condition and I could not be happier with this purchase. So those are all my favorites for the month of August. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything I've talked about, please leave it in the comments below. I will leave a list of everything I've talked about um, below in the description box. And um, thank you all for watching. I will see you soon in my next video and have a great week.